Use your head, bounty hunter. The sheriff wants me alive. If you kill me, you'll never collect that money. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, Mr. Paladin. Good morning, hey boy. Oh, you finished breakfast already? I've finished. Good. There is a gentleman wishes to see you. He says it's very important. Oh, what's his name? I uh, don't know, sir. He didn't say. Didn't say. Well, where is he? Uh, room 233, three, just down the hall. He, he give Hey Boy $5 to find you. $5? Yes, sir. Well, if he's that free with his money, maybe he's anxious to part with a great deal more. Oh, uh, thank you, Hey Boy. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Two, three, three. Uh. Yeah. My name is Paladin. I understand you wanted to see me. Oh, yeah, I sure do. Uh, come on in. Thanks. Now, hey, what? sit down over there. What's the idea? Just do like I tell you. Say, I don't like guns. You Point sit down. Me. Who are you? Simpson's my name. Chig Simpson. What's the reason for this? Reason? Hmm. <laughs> yes. That reason enough? Well, a wanted poster? That's right. A wanted poster. There's $500 on you, Paladin, dead or alive. I aim to collect it. That's a warning signal for all drivers. And that can be a warning signal for drowsy drivers on long, monotonous trips. You see, driving can make you drowsy no matter how much sleep you get. And driving and dozing just don't mix. Why take chances? Take no-dose, stay-awake tablets. Millions of times a year, safe no-dose keeps drivers awake and alert. Helps you bounce back so that you feel sharp, ready for any emergency. How does no-dose do it? Ask your doctor. He'll tell you that no-dose contains a safe and accurate amount of caffeine, the same refreshing stimulant you get in your coffee or tea. But safe no-dose acts faster, is handier and more reliable. Best of all, it is not habit-forming. And no-dose is so safe, it is legally sold on a national basis without a prescription. Get no-dose, stay-awake tablets to help you stay awake and alert. It could save your life. <laughs> Trapped in my own hotel without a gun in the light of the morning was unexpected, to say the least. With his six-gun at my back, Chig Simpson forced me down the corridor and the back stairs to the livery stable across the alley. Realizing that he was a bounty hunter of the worst kind, I was very careful not to try to get away or to attract attention. We were out of San Francisco and on the Northeast Trail before the impact of this predicament began to make any sense at all. Surprised you good, didn't I, Paladin? Where are we headed? Old little town up the Six Rivers country. Place called Hoagland. Hoagland? That sheriff up there sure don't like you none. Sheriff? Oh, is his name Walker? That's right. Sheriff Judd Walker. He's the one giving me the poster. Yeah. I don't suppose you bothered to find out what it was all about. No, it don't matter to me. He said he'd give me $500 if I brung you in, so that's what I'm doing. That poster's a fake, Chief. <laughs> that's what they all say. Listen to me. I killed a man in Hoagland about four weeks ago, a young, wild kid who's been bullying everybody in town. Oh, sure. I suppose you killed him just to save the town, huh? I killed him to save my life. He forced me to draw. I had no choice. 
Fallon, I never know a wanted man who didn't claim he was innocent. And there were plenty of witnesses. Nobody tried to stop me from leaving. Oh, yeah? Well, where was Sheriff Walker whilst all this shooting was going on? He was out of town. And that's probably the only reason I got out of there alive. Sheriff Walker owns that town. You know that. I don't know nothing. I come riding through there, he give me this poster. That's good enough for me. You know, most bounty hunters have a few brains, Chig. I guess they missed you. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're so stinking innocent, how come that sheriff wants you back so bad? Because the man I killed was his son. Oh. Hold up that horse. Now, Paladin, you listen here to me. I don't care if you're innocent or not. That just don't matter to me. None at all. What does matter is that reward money I'm going to get for bringing you in. Well, you'll never collect it. And there's another thing you better chew on. I'm getting mighty sick of your yammering. Now, fake or real, the poster says, dead or alive. And I ain't particular how it's going to be. <laughs> Aren't you going to unsaddle the horses? Hmm? What for? I'm going on to Hoagland as soon as I fix myself something to eat and <clears throat> rest up a spell. They're tired, too, you know. You talk awful lot. Chig? Hmm? What hole did you crawl out of? <laughs> hey! Oh. Now you just shut up. Why don't you... Why don't you just kill me now, Chig? Save yourself some trouble. I've been thinking on it. And the more I think, the better I like the idea. Sure, you do that. And then you just try to collect that money. Don't you know that Sheriff Walker wants me alive? He said dead or alive. And he ain't gonna get you alive. I've taken all I'm going to from you. You get up now. Go on, get up! It's gonna be now. Huh? It's gonna be right now. What's the matter, Chig? Huh? You so yella. You haven't got the nerve to cut my hands loose yella. before you murder me, yella. Oh, I'll show you. Turn around. Turn around. Mm -hmm. Leave me at that cord. Be better this way anyway. <clears throat> All right, Paladin. All right, the rope's off. You start running any time you want. Oh. And you can't say I ain't giving you a chance. Yeah. Some chance. Yeah, go <laughs> <more. laughs> you hey. Easy, boy. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> What do you hear from your sister? She's coming for a visit, and I dread it. Martha. With a nagging backache and muscular aches and pains I've had lately, I feel worn out. Nobody feels very spry with that discomfort, so do something for relief. But how? Try Doan's pills. Good advice. That's Doan's pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. <laughs> Here, drink this. Yeah. Mm. Thanks. Easy now. Say, who, who are you? Jason, Doc Jason. You crawled into my office last night. You've been hurt bad. Oh, yeah, I remember. Sheriff Walker brought you down here to jail. Sheriff Walker? Mm-hmm. You mean this is Hoagland? That's right. 
You had a bullet in you, Mr. Paladin. I always tell the sheriff about things like that. You know my name. Huh? The sheriff found a card on you. That's when he brought you to jail. Yeah. You're, um, you're the one who shot his son, aren't you? I had no choice. I know, I know. I heard about it. Did you? Well, tell me something, Doctor. Why do you people let Sheriff Walker bully you the way he does? Judd Walker is a powerful man, Mr. Paladin. I, I guess there's no one willing to go against him. Well, sooner or later, somebody's going to have to. Maybe. Have you come to you, Doc. I, oh, I see he has. Ah, oh, yeah. Didn't waste any time throwing me in jail, did you, Walker? And I ain't gonna waste any time hanging you from a rope, neither. Making up fake posters on a man's one thing. Murdering him is another. You talk about murder. You murdered my boy. Now, now look, Sheriff, maybe you should check into that a little more. I mean, a lot of folks saw that fight, and, and, and they said that well, that it really wasn't Paladin's fault. Now, you listen to me, Doc. You got a little black bag you can carry around and fix people up with when they ain't feeling right. But that's all I'd give you title to, so don't you tell me how to run my town. Yes, Sheriff. Now, there's just one thing I want from you. How long before he can stand on his feet? Well, it's hard to say. How long? Well, week, maybe. You better make it less time in that, Doc. I don't think I can wait a week. Sheriff! Back here. Oh, Sheriff, I gotta talk to you. It's about that paladin. Well, what do you know about that? Yeah, you had a long walk, didn't you, Chig? Yeah, long enough. I sure didn't count on you getting this far. Maybe you're not as good a shot as you figured you were. <laughs> well, it don't matter none. You're caught. So that titles me to my money, Sheriff. Sheriff? What are you talking about? What do you mean? I'm talking about the reward money for bringing in Paladin. I didn't see you bring him in. You didn't see me? Well, now look you here, Walker. I brung him all the way from San Francisco. As far as I could see, he come in by himself. No such of a thing. I brung him, I tell you. Well, you heard him say yourself, I was the one shot him. I didn't hear nothing. What? Look, listen, Sheriff. You promised me $500 if I got him. Well, I got him. Now, you better pay up. Get out of here, Chig. Hmm? Huh? I said, get out of here. I don't want you in town no more. Oh. Oh, you ain't gonna get away with this, Walker. You gonna stop me? Well, you owe me $500, Sheriff. I'm gonna collect it, one way or another. And now, here are Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Say, Charlie, isn't that your French girlfriend coming into the service department? Yeah, Bergen, isn't she a doll? Pardonnez-moi, monsieur. I don't wish to bother you. Oh, think nothing of it. Beautiful women always bother me. <laughs> it is my automobile. She has a squeak. Oh, poor thing. It probably needs one of our quality guardian maintenance lubrications. Fantastic. How did you know that? Specialized training, ma'am. Specialized training? Oui. The servicemen at all Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, and GMC truck dealers get special training. That's what makes them guardian maintenance servicemen. They're trained to know your GM product best. You are so wonderful. <laughs> oh, I must kiss you. Uh, gladly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, la la. How did you learn to kiss like that? Specialized training, ma'am. <laughs> You're coming along fine, Mr. Paladin. How long do you think it can stall, Doc? What do you mean? I can get up now, and you know it. Judd Walker is bound to figure it out, too. Well, I had to do something. Maybe you'll have a chance this way. Chance? 
Locked in a jail cell, watched by a man who's crazy mad because I killed his son? What else could I do? Now, look, Paladin. You finished with him, Doc? I... Yes. Yes, I am. How much longer is it going to be? Well, he's still pretty sick. He don't look sick to me. You know, I'm beginning to get me a feeling about you, Doc. Sheriff, this man has a bad bullet wound. Yeah? Well, let's see. Get up, Helen. No, no, now don't. If he gets up, that wound will open and he'll bleed to death inside an hour. Okay, Doc. I'm going to listen to you just this once more. But you better not be fooling me. Because if you are, you're going to hurt. You're going to hurt real bad. Paladin? Uh, Paladin! Uh, who's there? Me, Doc Jason. Doc. I got the keys. What are you doing here this time of night? I've been thinking about it all day, Paladin. I, I can't let him hang you. No matter what, I can't let him. Where's the sheriff now? I just saw him down at the saloon. Well, if he finds out, he'll probably kill you. You hurry. He may come back any minute. Got your horse out back. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I want to see if there's a gun in this desk. No, no, he never keeps guns in here. It's the sheriff. Hey! Run, Paladin! Hold it! You take one more step, I'll blow you clean in half. You sniveling little skunk, you was going to turn him loose. All right, Sheriff. Maybe you're going to kill me. I, I don't know, but I do know I'm not going to bow to you anymore. Not ever. You bow. Right now. Why, you filthy. You still ain't strong enough to beat me, pal. You, you didn't have to pistol whip the doc. Why not? Now when he wakes up, he'll have something to think about. Someday the people in this town are going to step all over you, Walker. Well, if they do, you ain't going to be here to see it, because tonight's your night to hang. Now you just pick yourself up off that floor and move on out of here. I got me a special place to string you up. Real special. Who? Oh. Get down, Pellin. Now move on in there ahead of me. You always hang people in a graveyard, Sheriff. There's something I want you to see. All right, hold it. See that headstone, Paladin? I see it. Well, get a little closer and read it out. Go on, there's enough moonlight. Thatch Walker, born 1856, died 1875, murdered by a man called Paladin. That what you wanted me to see? Yeah, and something else. You see that tree limb there hanging out over my boy's grave? Yeah. I swore the man that killed my son was going to hang from that limb. You're sick, Walker. Well, you just keep saying that when you're dancing on the end Walker. of that rope. Who's that? Me. Jack Simpson. I thought I told you to get out of town. Yeah, I've been hiding, Sheriff. Watching. I see you come out here, I followed you. All right, you followed. Now get. No. I told you you owe me $500. I aim to collect it. Where are you? Why don't you step out so as I can see you? I will, just as soon as you drop that gun. Now, you know I can't do that. Paladin might get away. That ain't no concern of mine. Now, now look, Chig, I was fixing to pay you all along. Oh, sure, I bet you were. No, it's a fact. Look here, I, I got a roll of money right here in my pocket. It ain't all of it, but I'll give you the rest when we get back to town. Well, come on out. I'll give it to you. All right, I'm coming out to get it. But you stand easy, Sheriff. 
Just keep your gun pointed right to Paladin. But I'll kill you if you don't. I don't think you will, Chase. <laughs> Sheriff? The darn fool hit me. Did I get him? Yeah. He's dead. Looks like I ain't gonna hang you after all, Paladin. Looks that way. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? Me dying here beside my boy's grave instead of you. It's real fun. No, Sheriff, I don't think it's funny at all. Get the really light refreshment. (laughs) (laughs) This is where I talk, hey? Get the really light refreshment. That's Pepsi-Cola, of course. I just wanted to say be sociable, Charlie. Of course, Kay. Be sociable. Have a Pepsi on the road or at home. It always refreshes without filling. Charlie. Pick up extra cartons now. Pepsi is so delicious it goes fast. That's why you should keep Pepsi plenty of Pepsi on hand. Mind. Oops. Maybe I'd better sing. Be sure to say keep Pepsi handy. Yes, Charlie. But the song says it sociably. Be sociable. Look smart. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable. Have a Pepsi. What K means is, get plenty of Pepsi next time you shop. Well, yes. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin, with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Vic Perrin, and Harry Bartell. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel.